Hello everyone, it's your boy Pumpkin Jack, and I know I've been gone for like three weeks. But, you know, that doesn't matter. I'm back. So, we're doing something new today. We're a new channel. Not a new channel. A new series on our channel. Yeah, I'm not making another channel, guys. I mean, God, I wouldn't do that. Like, this channel isn't, you know, getting enough views anyway. Why would I make a second? But we're doing something I like to call in a nutshell, where I do a horror, mo horror movie franchise, or even just a regular movie franchise, and I describe each movie in a nutshell, and I rate it, and I suggest that you watch it. Maybe. Depends on the movie. So, let's begin. Alright everybody, so the first series that we're going to be doing on this channel is... Wrong Turn. If you haven't seen Wrong Turn, then I suggest you do so. Because they're good. Now, it, it takes a turn for the worse. You see what I did there? Wrong Turn. Turn for the worse. I suck at this. So, let's begin with Wrong Turn 1. Now, this, I'd say, is like a generic. Generic slasher. But, you know, with a hint of mutant, hillbilly, cannibals. That's literally it. Like, the plot. Um, you know, dude crashes into the car of another, of a camping group or whatever. And, um, turns out the reason is because the camping group's car had flat tires because somebody put barbed wire in the road. Yeah, so it's already going good so far. And then, um, they go, like, some of them go and try and find people for help. Other two stay behind, end up getting absolutely, you know, bodied by the cannibals. The group finds the cannibal's house, and is trapped in the house, hiding from the cannibals who come back with their friends. Well, dead friends. And start, you know, eating them. And then the rest of the movie is the cannibals trying to hunt them down, and, uh, yeah, but like a quick thing about the cannibals, so each of them, I guess they have names, and I can't, you know, I cannot, you know, stop using their names, I have to name the person, so there's a big one named Sawtooth with a split in the lip, there is, you know, a medium one named One-Eye with One-Eye, and the last one is Three Fingers, who is actually the only one that's in every movie, so... Our boy Three Fingers, we're going to be following a lot. Now, let's go to the next one. Alright, so, the next movie that on our list is, you know, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End. Now, this one is by far my favorite out of the series. It's, it's decent, too, because the other one was kind of a little bit laid back for the gore and everything. You know, just coming out. This one. Nope. They go all in. And that's what I love about this movie. Now, you know the you know the show Survivor? Well, imagine Survivor taking place in a forest instead of an island. And um, you know, mutant hillbillies going after them. That sums up this. Now in this one, there are more mutant hillbillies. Because Sawtooth and One Eye died in the last movie. But Three Fingers is back. We are introduced to Ma, Pa, uh, Sis, and Bro. And Three Fingers. And then Three Toe later on. And um, everyone dies except for Three Finger and Three Toe. That's about it. So, let's go to the next. Alright, so... Next is Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. And this is where the series takes a turn for the worse. Now, you know that childhood game you love to play, Cops and Robbers? Well, imagine you're playing that out in the woods, and um, there's mutant hillbillies chasing after you. That's this movie. Now, like the second movie, it's not laid back in terms of gore and all that. It, it just sucks. It's a, it's a crappy movie. 
like it it turns it turns from wrong debt from wrong turn to a sci-fi channel movie like Psycho Mutant Hillbillies. So yeah, you, you, you can tell. And I love watching random sci-fi movies. And if I'm saying that this is a bad movie, it's a bad movie. And this one, Three Fingers and Three Toe are back at it again. Not a Krispy Kreme, but still. Um, Three Toe grows up from being a baby, is now like a teenager. Like, you know, 12. He gets wrecked. He has, like, nothing to do with this movie except to make it, make Three Finger angry that he just got absolutely wrecked. Then Three Finger, he gets wrecked too, but at least it's later in the movie. And then that's about it. Uh, so let's go to the next movie. Alright, so, um, now, you know how I said the, the third movie was bad? Well, they kind of redeemed themselves a tiny bit for the fourth movie. Now, you may be wondering, Pumpkin Jack, didn't you say that Three Finger died, but he's in all the movies? How is this possible? Three Finger is a zombie. He becomes, you know, freaking Jason Voorhees. Yeah, I'm joking. He, if they did that, then like it would make it worse. Or better. Depends on how to do it. This one is Wrong Turn 4, blo like Bloody Beginnings. So, it basically is a prequel, it brings back Sawtooth and One-Eye, and to sum this movie up, it's legit The Shining. Except, except for Paranormal Craft, people are stuck in an insane institute that's in, you know, in a blizzard, being chased by cannibals. And everyone dies, except for the cannibals. That's legit the nutshell of the movie. You're welcome. Now, let's go to the next. Now, uh, uh, remember how I said Wrong Turn 4 kind of brought itself back up a tiny bit? They absolutely did not learn their lesson, and they brought it back down for Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines. Oh, God. Now, by all means, the gore and everything and these last movies have been great. Like, if you're looking for just kills and all that, movie, this is the movie for you. These are the movies for you, but it's gotten, ooh. So the plot line is Sawtooth, One Eye, and Three Finger, again. So they're back. Um, there was another, I guess, cannibal. Somehow related, I guess. I don't, they never even try and, like, do any exposition for this crap. And, um, uh, that cannibal gets arrested, so they legit just burn down the whole town. Don't really burn it down, but they legit just wreck a whole entire town just to get him back, and that's legit the movie. So, let's go to the last one. Alright, so, the last movie is, honestly, I think the worst, and that's saying something. I don't even want to talk about this movie, that's how bad it was. Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort. Now, think Bates Motel, except, you know, without a crazy mother and everything, uh, they are all cannibals, and, um, everyone dies, except for the cannibals. It, okay, so, so essentially the plot, this dude inherits the motel, ends up he's related to them, and... This one chick that, you know, one of the cannibals is like, listen, me and you have to get together because if we don't, the family is just going to freaking die off. Like, literally. We have to. It's destiny. And the dude's like, I don't know. And then he gets drugged and then he's like, yeah, sure, let's do it. That's the whole movie. <laughs> so, I hope you kind of enjoyed. This has been In a Nutshell. And now if we're going to, now, uh, rating this movie, uh, stars... Wise, I'll give the whole entire series a uh, 5 out of 10. Like, because it's not the worst, because it has some redeeming qualities, the first and second. But after that, it takes a turn for the worst. <laughs> and, um, I think that should be it. If you guys like, 
then like you know, like and subscribe. And if you want actual reviews, instead of just minute reviews of each one, then uh, please, by all means, talk about it. The next series I'll be doing is going to be the Friday the 13th franchise, just so you all know. So, uh, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, gamers.